The Pharmaceutical and Molecular Biotechnology Research Centre was established in 2008 um, here in WIT. Um, it occupies approximately 700 square metres of research space and to date there's approximately 25 staff involved in the centre. The purpose of the Pharmaceutical and Molecular Biotechnology Research Centre was effectively uh, there was three key strands that we were trying to support in the centre. One uh, was uh, to support innovation in the southeast uh, in terms of multinational companies, say for example, and SMEs. Secondly, was uh, to support postgraduate training at master's and uh, PhD level. And thirdly, was to develop and support uh, training and partnerships with uh, EU organisations, both companies and third level organisations as well. So collaboration with industry is a significant proportion of the work that we do here in the PMBRC. Uh, the projects that we do range from small one-off contract analysis and uh, quality investigations right up to the development of new products and new technologies which are obviously more extensive collaborations. The companies we work with tend to be in the pharmaceutical and healthcare and medical device industries. Research in the PMBRC can be broken down into four areas. Our drug delivery research is aimed at delivering drugs more effectively to target sites within the body with the aim of improving the therapeutic benefit to the patient and minimising the unpleasant side effects that some drugs can have on the patient. Our biomedical research, we're looking at new biomarkers which can be used in the early diagnosis of certain diseases such as cancers and cardiovascular disease. Our pharmaceutical analysis research in the PMBRC, we're looking at separation science and analytical separations, and also using our characterization technologies to characterize drugs and excipients, um, and relating those properties to the performance of the drug in a manufacturing process or the efficacy of the final product itself. And finally, our research in molecular biotechnology, uh, we're looking at novel enzymes which can be used in the selective synthesis of certain organic molecules, which can ultimately be used in the synthesis of drug molecules. The Pharmaceutical and Molecular Biotechnology Research Centre, one of the reasons for setting it up in the first place, was to support uh, high-end jobs in the southeast region. Um, we've achieved that uh, in two ways. One is through the funding of projects with industry and the knock-on effects those projects have in industry. But the centre itself then employs approximately 25 staff. I joined the PMBRC in order to continue my work in the development of smart materials for analytical applications and sensing devices. Um, being focused on applied research, the centre offers me full support for patenting and commercialising my work, which will be crucial for the development of my future career. National and international academic contacts ensure continuous interaction with experts from various disciplines and make working at the PMBRC a very rewarding experience. The key, one of the key emphasis of the centre is both applied research and basic research and those graduates are in, uh, in demand and in need in the southeast region with a large number of those graduates that we have had in the past from the centre going on, on to work in uh, to a large degree multinationals in the southeast region as well. Initially it was funded through uh, the Enterprise Ireland uh, Applied Research Enhancement Scheme so it was one of I think 13 centres uh, of, of excellence. Ours being one of the only ones which dealt specifically with they say the pharmaceutical sector. That funding has been supported since then by a number of other funding strands. Some of those involve direct funding from industry. Others are um, applied research uh, funded projects through Enterprise Ireland and industry as a partnership. And then we have others which uh, involve EU funding, which has been our key focus in the last two years of the centre. There's been a significant investment in laboratory equipment in the PMBRC over the last number of years and importantly there's been a parallel investment in the human capital within the centre and this human capital and this equipment is now at the disposal of our industry partners and academic partners.